Hey everybody, welcome to the video, <laughs> welcome to the channel. The Kleeman family is camping for three nights at Turkey Run State Park up in the middle of Indiana. It's gonna be a lot of walking.
to the punch bowl. Cora lovingly refers to it as the punch hole, so that's cute. Uh, a lot of times people will come here and go swimming in this little puddle, if you will. This is off of trail four. We took trail three to get here, turns into trail four, and then um, not too bad of a hike. It's really cool going through the little rock hollow um, using the steps to kind of crawl along the cliff. So this is it. This is a little dead end off of trail four. And there's a nice little sign that says punch bowl. Punch bowl. And then you can see trail four up there where it continues. All right, so we just got out of the punch bowl. We are heading along trail three and we're getting ready to get on trail four. Right off of trail three of the punch bowl, getting on trail four. But it's actually punch. pretty dry right now because it hasn't been raining, so but usually there'd be a little thing of water cascading down. Very exciting. That's where we just were. Found some wild ginger here. Big one. It smells so good. I'd eat that. All right, so we're on trail four now, and all along this path, there is a ton of stinging nettle. See the little barbs on them? So make sure you don't run your legs along the foliage on this trail, and if you do, cold water is the trick. So avoid the stinging nettle. Think I can make it? Mm -hmm. Hmm? I did it. Look, here's one right here. What is this, Cora? What is this plant? Me apple. See underneath it? Yep, yeah, that's a That's the apple. It's the apple of the May apple. Besides. What are you doing? Smell He's smelling fruit. this tree. He's trying to smell this tree. I am too. Oh yeah, I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Sassafras. Giant mm. sassafras. Like you can it. smell it too. Mm. Yeah. Do you little granola bar? What is it? Look for a chipmunk running around down there. Where? Oh, it's ran under that log. Oh man, I missed it. Gone forever. Too busy smelling trees. <laughs> I had to know. These have been sustaining our journey. Mm. Oh, it's soft though. Looks like a cloud. It does look like a cloud. That one looks like it's staying. It's the mushroom. It's a bunch of them. It's, just it's back. Bunch of them, all the way up. All right, so we have made it to the coal mine on trail eight. Yes. I believe this is trail eight. Um, this is a private coal mine or was a private coal mine. They used to use it for a local house. Uh, the salmon husk house, or I'm sorry, the salmon lusk house here at Turkey Run. Um, but you can see here they put bars over it. So humans can't go in there, but bats can go in there. So very neat, very historical. It's what it used to look like back in the day. They even had goats pulling coal out of there. How cool. But again, that's what it looks like on the inside. But now it's closed off. Could have walked up there and went up Back go steps? Yes, ma'am. So 
Come on, Michael. Slide. Oh, you're not gonna slide. You might slide against your will. No, I'm like a goat, man. Like an aged goat. Somebody left their underwear. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Dad, you have had a bad accident. <laughs> difference in here. It's a lot cooler in this little, this little hole we're in. I like it. Got in the middle because it's too cool. So we just stopped for lunch. We had a little picnic here in this little shelter house that's right off the parking lot where we parked and right off the trail from the suspension bridge. Look at that craftsmanship. It's got a grill, table, little shelves. How neat is that? So this is a great place to relax, cool off, and get some rest after a long hike. So. We're getting ready to go over to Turkey Run State Park Lodge. There's some trails over there that are just right off the property. They're really short trails. So we're gonna go check those out. They kind of go into a ravine, um, see what we can't get into over there. All right, we're at the yeah. Turkey Run State Park Inn, as you can see behind me. They've got their little camping cabins over here as well. And we're gonna check out trail six, which is right off the end. True story. I know it's a snake, but it's that's how they fruit. Can I get one to my food? It's fun getting it.
Looks like the lodge has a restaurant. Look at that awesome outdoor seating area. It's right here in the back side. We just came out of uh, Trail 6 and it comes up around the back side of the lodge. Also has a swimming pool right there. It's my favorite statue I think I've ever seen. I love this statue. love that all right so we made it back from the state park from hiking and we're back at our campground now we are staying at the turkey run campground but they are not adjoined so you have to drive from the campground to the actual state park so we are in site 241 now i really like this site because it is at the very end right next to the woods where we are in a quieter section of the campground if you will it's a little loop um, there's our closest neighbor right over there and it's a nice shaded area there are other campsites that are less shaded you get more sunlight they're closer to the bathrooms but we really like this one it's got a cool little ravine you can walk down so 241 definitely a nice quiet private spot now as far as our day went we really enjoyed our hiking that we did today it was definitely the kid friendly trails we did not go on the notorious trail three which has the ladders it actually rained a little bit last night we were kind of nervous about taking our six-year-old with us so she could have probably handled it but we felt a little bit better just not doing that crazy rugged trail so the ones we did were perfect for a six-year-old it was a great day lots to see definitely a different terrain if you will so hope you guys like watching um hope you got some idea about turkey run and thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next one